in this lecture let's see how to handle multiple uh, similar objects so for that let's let's create new class uh, multiple objects copy the code until opening the application now Let's open the app first. Now uh, you open your automator here and click on device screenshot uh, uh, to identify the locators in this uh, main page. Let's see. So here accessibility ID. So let's assume that uh, there is no uh, text attribute value resource id value and content desk value so we have only one value class value that is duplicate for all names so this class name is same for all these names so there is no unique attribute value now in this case how can we handle this uh, situation now how to uh, click this tab okay now how can we perform click action on this app name let's see uh, there are uh, different ways uh, to handle multiple objects uh, so first one is uh, using class name locator type so driver dot uh, find element uh, mobile by uh, xpath Okay. here you can uh, use xpath like double slashes and tag name so what is the tag name here this is the tag name and this is same for all names okay now you need to pass the index here so here what is the index of this app so let's see API demos API demos header is also the class name is handed dot widget dot text view accessibility is also the same class name this is also same class name now index is 3 right index starts from 0 so API demos header index is 0 accessibility index is 1 animation index is 2 app index is 3 now you need to pass the index value here uh, to locate that element now simply call this click method so this is one approach to handle multiple similar objects now let's uh, start the server So after starting the server, let's let's execute and uh, uh, see whether the click action is performed on this app or not. Run as test ng test. I'll close this app. You can see the logs in command prompt. You can see. Click it on app. Right? So it got passed. Now now uh, without using this uh, approach xpath now how can we uh, find the unique locator with class name so this is same as uh, same class name now how can we perform click action on app using class name so this is the class name that and dot widget dot text view is the class name okay 
but this class name is same for all names right you need to call a find elements method so driver dot find elements of mobile by dot class name class name it returns list of web elements now you need to pass the index with the get method so get of 3 so here 3 is the index of app okay then and then click so this is another approach so just comment the previous one okay save now uh, driver dot find elements find elements method returns list of android elements and out of all those list of elements uh, we are fetching thought index value that is app name and then performing click uh, let's execute the same script start the apm server and then uh, run as a test ng now let's see here you can see the logs in command prompt Yes, clicked on app name okay so this is how uh, you can uh, handle multiple similar objects so this is good approach uh, uh, if you know the index or there are uh, uh, minimal number of uh, elements okay uh, but there are many uh, if there are many number of uh, elements uh, with the same locators uh, you are not aware of index and how can you handle this situation so uh, let's assume that there are 50 uh, elements with same class name so there is no unique uh, locator except class name so in, in this example let's click on uh, views okay the thought approach is uh, let's uh, find the list of elements and iterate uh, all the elements until uh, the specified uh, uh, app name specified name is matched with the actual value okay now for that uh, driver dot uh, find elements find elements mobile by class name Now it returns list of uh, Android elements. Now uh, we can hold all the elements in one uh, reference variable. Android element so list. So now we import this uh, list class. Now use for loop uh, to iterate all the elements. zero i less than or list dot size i plus plus now all list dot I'll get off i dot get text dot content equals now we are going to perform click action on views right so if the string views is matched with this value if okay now click on that element so list dot get of i dot click now it will perform the caption on this views element so here we don't know uh, at what index the views uh, name is present now let's run the script and see 
so start the server so close this app now right click on a multiple objects class run as test in j test now it will click on uh, views name Views. Click on views name. Right. So that's it. Uh, this is how uh, we can handle multiple similar objects. So these are the different possibilities uh, to handle multiple similar objects. Uh, thank you.